Hello, my fellow Italians, and welcome back to Hetafax. And this was originally part of my age theory in my original Tumblr post, but I cut it from my video because I believed it didn't really make sense. I've done a video on why Latvia is so young, which wasn't my best video. I think I might actually delete that one. But I think I have some pretty good answers to why he is so frustratingly short. Now, even if he were to grow those 10 centimeters and be very slightly taller than he is now, it would still make him criminally short for a 15-year-old boy in the country with the tallest women in the world and the fourth tallest men in the world. So shut up. I know he's supposed to be 10 centimeters taller, but he would still be tiny. So no matter what, this does not make sense. But as I said in my last Tumblr post, there could be external factors in determining height. It is canon confirmed that Prussia is shorter than his brother due to poor nutrition. So today, we will go over all the possible reasons why Latvia is so short, and if it really is because of Russia crushing him. Anyways, let's begin. First, let's ask the most pressing question. Has Latvia gone through puberty yet? Nations do indeed go through puberty as we see with Hungary and Italy. Though Latvia does not show up much in the series, so how can we tell if he's gone through puberty or not? First of all, if he is physically 15, shouldn't he have already gone through puberty already? 14 through 15 is normally the age cap for boys, so like me, Latvia would be barely hitting the age mark. We can't look at him naked, so how do we know? Well, he is voiced by a man in both the sub and the dub, but this doesn't really tell us too much since China is voiced by a woman in both the sub and the dub. And Chibi HRE and Prussia are voiced by men too. So how do we tell in a world where no one has armpit hair drawn on them? Surprisingly, that's exactly how we're going to determine this. In the desktop mascots, you can look at Belarus's diary entries. And one of those entries says that she, quote, played around with, quote, Latvia and his virtually bare armpits. So from this, we can conclude that he has at least started puberty since he has slight hair under there. Hey, it's natural and it happens to everyone. So what stunted Latvia's growth? We know that Russia had some role in it, but how did he do it? We know that a lack of independence can affect age, but Canada is about the same height as America now. Was it poor nutrition like Prussia? After all, archaeologists did uncover a mass grave in Riga from the Middle Ages where people supposedly died of starvation or malnourishment. But that was found in 2018. This wasn't a commonly known thing 10 years ago. So I would not think that's it. Also, Latvia isn't a sugar-obsessed child. He seems like a kid who would eat his vegetables when he was told so, unlike Prussia. Prussia was also the nomadic Teutonic Knights, and the Teutonic Knights had diets of eggs, milk, porridge, and water, and were forbidden to eat meat for two months of the year as well as every Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays all year round. Yes, there are sources on what the Teutonic Knights ate. Amazing world we live in. Though people were overall shorter back then due to poor nutrition, yet everyone seemed to grow up fine except for Latvia and Japan. And unlike Prussia, Latvia wasn't a nomad. He lived in a place where things like farming and vegetables were bountiful, so I don't think that it is poor nutrition. Unless one of the five people who raised him deprived him of food or something. Now what you've all been waiting for, the Russia question. Let's say that Russia's giant hand did have an effect that made Latvia 10 centimeters shorter. How would that happen? How much force is he exerting on Latvia? Well, I might not be able to answer that question, because one, I'm not a physics person, and two, this kind of thing is unheard of. However, there is an animal study that shows that compression can slow growth rate, albeit maybe not this severely. So Latvia is kind of right when he says that he would be taller if Russia didn't squish him. But there are three possible ways that I think Russia could deform Latvia to the point where he is this short. Number one, 
brain damage. Since Russia is pressing on Latvia's head, brain damage would make sense. But what part of the brain would have to be damaged to prevent Latvia from growing? That would either have to be his pituitary gland or his hypothalamus. Though in this picture he is more by the parietal lobe, Russia is shown to obliviously commit numerous acts of cruelty to the Baltics. For Latvia, that includes crushing, stretching, shaking, and as Latvia states in the desktop buddies, twisting. So it is easy to say that some time under Russia's rule, Latvia could have suffered damage to his pituitary gland or his hypothalamus, thus causing a growth hormone deficiency. The pituitary gland and the hypothalamus are often the most vulnerable when it comes to brain injuries, so it's very plausible that Latvia could have injured his brain there. But most patients will recover from these injuries within a year. Children, however, have a 27.5% of chance of developing hypopituitarism. Hypopituitarism, and yes, I did have to look up how to pronounce that, is a disorder in which your pituitary gland does not produce enough hormones. However, Latvia doesn't really have many of the other symptoms that come with this disorder, so I am a bit skeptical about this. But a blatant injury to that area could cause hormone growth deficiency, which would make sense in this case. Number two, spine damage. The second method could be spine damage. It is clear that spine disorders can affect growth. My family has a history of scoliosis that I surprisingly did not inherit. Twisting, crushing, stretching, and having your head popped off could very much damage a spine. According to FacingDisability.com, quote, children who are injured before puberty, spinal cord injuries, result in almost 100% of them developing scoliosis or spine deformity in one sort or another. Scoliosis is where the spine twists and grows in a really weird position and makes the person a lot shorter than they should be. Russia could have also damaged the growth plates in Latvia's spine, thus stunting his growth that way. In fact, that was what the animal study with compression was testing. The growth plates. So Latvia could just have a severe form of scoliosis, which would honestly make a lot of sense. But there is one more theory that I have to this. Number three, psychological damage. Let's move on to the third theory. Latvia having a mental disorder or disease. Disease and disorders among nations are not unheard of. We have seen physical and mental disorders in Italia with Italy's phimosis, Prussia's possible blood disorder, and Australia's ADHD. It is even stated in canon that Romano had chorea as a kid. But let's go over the diseases that could stunt Latvia's growth. I looked through Kleinfelter syndrome, thyroid issues, and bone and cartilage disorders, but nothing stood out to me more than a disorder by the name of psychosocial dwarfism, also known as psychosocial short stature, or PSS, or Kaspar Hauser syndrome. Psychosocial dwarfism is a growth disorder that is observed between the ages of 12 and 15 caused by extreme emotional deprivation or stress. It could also be caused by child abuse and things along those lines. And honestly, this fits Latvia very well. Ever since he was young, he has been tossed around from nation to nation and fought over. And with all the abuse he suffered under Russia, that is clearly enough emotional stress to stunt someone's growth. It may not just be Russia. Livonia, Sweden, Lithuania, and Poland could have contributed to this as well. Though for Sweden and Lithuania, it's probably less likely. But even though we haven't met Livonia yet, we know that Latvia does not like them for a reason. Maybe this is it. And this may explain the whole Estonia situation. Estonia is probably taller and more developed because he never dealt with the torture that Latvia did under Russia's roof. And he probably just handles stress and emotional distress a lot better than Latvia does. In conclusion, Shota abuse can have some very devastating effects, mentally and physically. And I guess some injuries just don't heal. Though, I do find it strange that the Netherlands has had this tiny scar on his face for hundreds of years, 
And yet Korea was burnt to ash when he was born and is now perfectly fine and does not have a single mark on him. Logic is a strange one in this universe. And that was one mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Petafacts.